What we're doing is trying to sort of basic documentation of the biodiversity of macro fungi, fungi that you can go and collect their fruiting structures here at the Ordway. The diversity is astoundingly high. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of species. But for fungi, we don't even know for most groups what, how many species there are, and we certainly don't know where they're located. And so this is part of this North American mycoflora project where we're trying to really just get this very basic understanding of fungi in North America. Fungi are ephemeral, so they, they fruit after the rain and then they may not fruit again for another year or even two years. And if you're not there to catch them at the right window, you'll never find them. There are a lot of fungi that are mycorrhizal with plants. So oaks and pines have a very wide diversity of fungi associated with their roots. And they're important for nutrient cycling and other ecosystem processes. Um, fungi are by far the most important wood decay organism. And so they have a really big impact of how fast carbon goes from a fallen tree to into the soil. And they're really important also for our own human environments as plant diseases, and then also um, for wood decay organisms that affect our decks and inside of our homes. So it's really important to understand what they're doing so that you can um, look at how they change over time or how humans affect them, but also how they affect our lives as well. We have several goals for the project. One is to come up with a really basic species list and determine how many fungi we think there are here at Ordway Swisher. We're hoping to contribute to ongoing systematics and taxonomy studies in fungi by contributing our specimens that we find that have DNA data to other experts in the field. And we hope to contribute to the overall North American mycoflora project, showing how one year of funding can really generate a lot of data about a local reserve and how that can integrate with the larger understanding of biodiversity of fungi. Ordway Swisher is really an important place to be collecting in, in, around Gainesville because it's a very pristine habitat. And we have, back in the early 1900s, there was a famous mycologist, William A. Merle, who collected extensively around Gainesville and we have about 800 of his holotypes. These samples are old and very degraded. And the first step to trying to figure out what species we have is to go out in the field and try to recollect modern collections to begin analyzing the specimen. We have sort of a, an assembly line for documenting these things. So we will photograph them on a background so that you can really see the specimens well. We'll do it with our um, voucher number and that voucher number is associated with the photo, it's associated with the specimen, and then it's also associated with the DNA sequence that comes out of that process. Then at the end of the process what we hope to have is a well-preserved specimen, a good photo that shows the characteristics, and then also the DNA sequence. And that's important because there's so many species and many of them, even if you're a really good mycologist, it can be really hard to tell them apart. Um, and so the DNA really can sort of help us to separate out all these many species that can co-occur in the same place. Receiving the Jumpstart Award was really spectacular because without these there would be really no easy vehicle for us to start this really basic data collection that we would need in order to get future funding. We know that we found a new species of truffle that is found here at the Ordre Reserve. We found a mushroom that we think may have uh, been described only by Merle and has not been seen since then. And then we have a number of specimens that are really strange and appear to be different, but we need to sit down at the microscope and look at them more carefully to be sure. One thing that I think is so interesting about fungi is there's so much diversity right there below your feet. Literally, there are undescribed species that you step over on your way to get the paper in the morning. Um, and so what I want people to realize is that rich biodiversity is all around us. We can learn a lot about our world just by paying a little bit closer attention. <laughs>